Safety forethoughts prior to purchasing newborn crib bedding. Preparing for your baby includes buying bedding, and you'll find everything for your baby's crib in most stores. Despite the availability of a variety of materials, cotton and flannel are still the standbys for girl baby bedding sets. You will certainly need to purchase extra crib sheets because they will be laundered often, and they are also have the most important job in the bedding set. Be careful to purchase snug fitting sheets with durable elastic for the crib mattress. Once the baby is old enough to pull on them, crib bumpers should not be used, even though they are often included in bedding sets for babies. If you use them, be sure to attach them securely, because they can increase a newborn baby's risk of suffocation. Despite having no real purpose, crib sets will often come with a bed skirt to tie the room decor together. Select a comforter or a blanket to complete the crib set. Although baby blankets can be extremely colorful and quite decorative, it is not advisable to leave them in the crib with the baby. The comforter can pose a suffocation hazard if it covers the baby's face, so it's better to wrap the baby in receiving blankets. Do not let your baby sleep with stuffed animals, pillows, or similar objects because these items can harm your baby. You may wish to decorate the crib with these items during the day and remove them when you put the baby to bed at night. Nursery bedding, especially comforters and blankets, can also enhance the appearance of chairs and other furniture in the baby's room. Other than sheets and a blanket, you could look into the de other decorative items for your baby's bed. Mobiles are relaxing and distracting for a baby, and they can be good for the child's development. If you have pets or a particularly adventurous baby, you can use crib netting to keep the baby in and the pets out. These are only some of the options for you to consider when you purchase baby bedding for your infant.